Welcome, welcome, welcome. We return once again to SodWow Craft World Warcraft.com play today on Warcraft of World War.net. This episode really showcases Vanilla WoW's strength in my humblest of opinions, as the gang will be engaging in everything this video game has to offer. And as you can see, Painal Army finds themselves in Westfall, pushing towards the fabled Deadmines dungeon. There are quite a few pieces out of this dungeon that one could consider pre-bees, or close to it anyway, which is why the gang have assembled here around this comfy campfire. But as it turns out, the comfy campfire wasn't so safe after all. I already buffed him. Oh, ripped it. There he goes. <laughs> <laughs> what a cunt. The only hope to make it into the instance alive is to go as a fully buffed five stack. As on day four of the fresh server, this place was crawling with alliance. I can't do anything because I'm fucking ill. Paladin. Oh, let's go. Fucking light cream. I'll res you, Kobe, if I can. Oh, okay, warrior. Or you're dead. Let's -a go. Mine's time. Let's go. Wee, 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 wee. After metric blump floods of PvP and running from endless dynamic respawns. The gang made it into the dead mines, taking down this big fat ogre mafucker and looting his really cool white hammer. Good game design blossomed, everyone loves white items in five mans. Then to the man himself, Sneed. Sneed's feed Enshredees, who dropped his gold flecked gloves, which Bob Painel Poopity scooped up. Following which, the Gilnid Goblin Gerblade was Gergrumpfed and his lavishly jeweled ring was scooped up, but not scooped up by our hero Big Sheet. Then the assault on this big ass boat in some random cave began. The iconic Mr. Smite said the line, a vast swab we under attack repel the invaders or some shit. So iconic man, he's so cool. Mr. Smite's such an iconic no boss. No way, I didn't get my poison off. This is such a fucking iconic boss, dude. We gotta bring him back. Yeah. Bring him back. So true, so true indeed. With Smite down and his one-handed axe dropped. The gang ascended the ship and dispatched the next suspiciously Semitic pirate, Captain Greenskin, who dropped his belt. Which is fine, because his staff is worse than the Crescent Staff from WC. Finally, Van Keef. We were bricked up for the blackened Defiers armor. Sadly, he didn't drop it. But Big Sheet managed to get the Corsair overshirt, which is the signature shirt of any sex predator. Just look at that v-neck, a brother got their belly button out, what the hell. I just think getting Wind Fury at this level seems wild to me. It seems wild strikes to me. Okay. Thank you, Buster. <laughs> okay. Not one more afterwards? No, I am kind of busting for a shit. <laughs> yeah. I can go for a shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of busting for it. The blackened Defiers armor was secured in the second run, but despite losing our bust in for a shit hunter, a warrior bro was brought into the group, and the runs continued. Hey, they're all coming in. You guys are gonna die. I honestly can't remember exactly what dropped, as this was the fourth day of sodden big sheet decided to not record the loot drops for some reason in either the Dead Mines or the SFK Fang. Keep Shadow Fang, keep runs. I think Brutha was just in a coma or something, but regardless, just pretend some epic shit happened and some epic shit dropped so we get a dopamine reward for seeing character progression happen fast on a video screen. Although as you can see, the robes of Aragul did drop in that Shadow Fang, keep run. And it was now time to get the remainder of Big Sheet's room, with the help of Bustin for a shit hunter, and Chud Panel Big Shite secured the dark insight from these Defiers guys in Duskwood, shanked some bitch ass gnome on the road, blasted this furry cat bitch ass night elf in Dis Zombie Field, and then made their way up the road to Deadwind Pass. 
taking a left at the tower and going through this metal gate, which lead them to this really LARP, tranquil, wholesome, cool swag grove in which Big Sheet was able to activate his dark insight. The wholesome, chill LARP wasn't going to last for long, no. Red Ridge was the next stop for Power Word Barrier, and everyone knows what happens when you enter Red Ridge. A bubble? Nope. <laughs> Just kill them all, man. Kill every single one. No! Oh my god. No one coming up? Oh, we have an army <laughs> coming up. <laughs> we have an army they're, coming they're, up. They're weak, though. They're weak, though. Hey guys, what? tune into the hot tub stream. No, I'm good. I fell a little, bro. Just tune in, dude. Just, Just tune in. Just pawn. Off my fucking screen. Whores on my screen. No more whores. Why? Cause I wanna watch these fucking whores. Come on. No. No whores. Come on. No more whores on my screen. Get real, bobs. Just trick off them, dude. Who cares, man? Dude, that's just priests just waiting here because they can't get in and do it themselves. It's <laughs> just a fucking line of priests. They just no, won't ever take the birth I, I, control I fear, test. I feared him into the mobs. Oh, he's dead. Fuck it. I feared him into all those mobs. Are these ones we need to kill or no? No more stomp. Holy novice, man. <laughs> Bomb. Here, I'm gonna send you some wolf. Send me some eggs. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, has oh, is escaping. He's getting away. Homunculus are on his ass, dude. No, he's not. <laughs> dude, we just fucking destroyed them. Oh my god. That was fucking epic. With the alliance slaughtered, the gang ascended the keep, pulled the big elite pack and managed to secure the priest room. But our hearthstones were still on cooldown and we were still itching for a gitchin. And by that, I mean some more slaughter. Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, I'm just dead. Oh, they're, they're doing the quest, they're doing the quest. <laughs> Holy shit, dude, there's a million fucking paladins in here. <laughs> yeah, that's all paladins! What the fuck? There, there's one where you have to get like a yep. gold or something, the paladin army is. Bringing the fucking panel. Dude, they got fucking wiped. I've this never thing. watched the show, like, apart from, like, walking in, in passing, but I don't hate the show as much as you do. It's for just, girls. Every girl watches it. Yeah, I hate, I hate it now. I, I, every, to every fucking WoW server I play, I hate it more because there's always a fucking guild called Dunder Mifflin Paper Co. Yeah, it's, Like, it's fucking it's, gay. Like, fuck. And then fucking women are obsessed with that shit show. Hey, eh, you went to the office 15 times. Like, you're, uh, fuck, how stupid are you?
<laughs> fucking do our, something else. Like, fuck. Our guild, na our guild name is Penal Army Boss. Yeah, and it's cool and original. <laughs> 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 Professional hater, big shy at rant aside, there was one easy rune left, and that was power word death, found by purging some wandering ghost in the barrens. Dude, a fucking shaman just purged it right in front of me, right as I was running up to it. You fucking prick. Luckily, shortly afterwards, the rune was obtained anyway. It was then off to Ashenvale to finally turn this primal insight into an epic spell since Big Sheet had procrastinated it, like he does everything. But not without some wicked sick PvP gaming time for gaming playing the video game along the way. With that quick paneling on the Night Elf out of the way, Big Sheet made his way towards the Furbolg cave and began his wicked intense ascent of said really cool tree until stumbling across the Dreamcatcher, which is the location needed to ponder upon this primal insight, granting the strength of soul passive. Nice. Then, hitting up Splinter Tree Post to grab the Warsong Axe shipment with a deadly blunderbuss, as well as turn in the lost pages for a nice wad of gold, as well as some really good gloves that he is still using eight days later, by the way. Finishing the day off, Big Sheet did the two spider quests in Stone Talon, as he needed the spider silk anyways for the spider silk boots, which can turn into an epic item which is really cool and also swag. The next morning, the gang ventured to the Murloc shithole in Hillsbraid to farm for iridescent pearls as well as yeah, fish oils for the <gasps> Shredder Rune bullshit oh, when this oh, happened. Oh, oh my god, that's insane. Jesus. Coming, I'm 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 coming, I